All right, joining us now is Joy Johnson, Program Director of the Center for Healthy Living. What are some easy tips for people to remember for a healthy heart? Yeah, so um, of course, eating healthy. Now I know it's easier said than done. Um, it is a struggle sometimes, right? Especially on Valentine's Day when there's candy <laughs> everywhere. All that chocolate. And I'm talking about eating healthy. Um, <laughs> no, so I always tell people to live by the 80-20 rule, and that's, you know, 80% of the time you're eating things that are great for your health. You know, fresh fruits, um, yummy vegetables, whole grains, and then 20% indulging, you know, getting that piece of cheesecake tonight when you go out for a date, um, and just enjoying that indulgent. Um, the other thing is to know what your blood pressure numbers are, mm -hmm. your cholesterol. Um, if you don't have a doctor, you know, Net Health can help connect people with a doctor. Um, but those are numbers that we don't always know when our blood pressure is going high. It's mm -hmm. called the silent killer. So um, it's best to go um, and get it checked, you know, and make sure that it's staying where it needs to stay, uh, that the numbers are great. The other thing, which, you know, I'm guilty of this, is reducing stress and uh, really knowing how to cope with everyday stressors. So mm -hmm. we kind of, uh, build up for the big stressors, but it's those everyday little things that get to us, and I'm so guilty of it. Mm -hmm. um, but those things can really wreak havoc on our he health. Um, so that definitely is, is a great tip. And then um, being physically active. It's going to be a gorgeous day, so um, you know, get out and enjoy it, but find something that you love to do. You know, um, I know a lot of people hate the word exercise, <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, you, you can go for a walk, um, even golf. I was mm -hmm. reading about a research that shows that people who who go uh, who golf actually reduce their death risk oh wow so it's pretty cool it's like by at least 15 percent um, and, and anything's better than nothing right yeah and I think it's a matter of getting out you mm -hmm. know um, getting out and it's kind of a stress reduction uh, for me it wouldn't because I would be like get in the hole you know <laughs> we're, we're you'd be it. more stressed I know right <laughs> I don't have the patience for it but I know so there's you know there's different things that people can do mm -hmm. it doesn't always have to be just this crazy way to, yeah. to you know crossfit and all that I mean you two has a couple of oh, little yeah. yoga things you can do, a little bit of meditation, and that's a little bit of Absolutely. something, right? Absolutely. Perfect. Yeah, it's 10 minutes of meditation, which when you're sitting down and meditating, it's a lot, <laughs> but it does a world of difference. You get up and you feel better. Um, and yeah, you're right. There's chair exercises that you can do mm -hmm. um, and actually will get your heart rate up. Yeah. Um, and then if you do smoke, reach out to Net Health on uh, ways that you can uh, reduce, you know, uh, your smoking urges and learn how to cope. Uh, because it is a, a really hard habit to break. Mm -hmm. um, and especially if you made that as a New Year's resolution and you're kind of feeling like, oh, this is not working out, definitely call us and, and we can help. Um, so those are all great tips to help you keep your heart healthy and happy. Okay, on the perfect day. It's Valentine's yeah. Day and we need good, healthy hearts, right? Yes, exactly. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here today, Joy. Yeah.